Hi there, I'm John from cncri.com and today we're going to cut some stone. My goal with cncri.com is to bring a little bit of custom to everybody's lives and part of that is being agnostic regarding material and the process we use to cut stuff. Now in this case here, this is my website cncri.com and it's made out of stone which is three quarter inch thick. This is done with a water jet. And the nice thing about the water jet is that it can cut this material really, really easily and really well because it's an abrasive process. So abrasive is basically just water and sand and what it does is just wears it out. And the, the nice thing about that is that it actually sands the surface of it as you're doing it. So everything is nice and clean, as you can see. And the reason for these supports here is just to give it added strength to the overall design. So what are the limitations when it comes to different materials that we could cut here? Uh, with stone here, your limitation is actually the type of stone and the strength of the stone because you are cutting stuff out of it. So if it was a very weak stone, uh, let's say like a sandstone, um, you could probably get away with doing a lot of this kind of work, but it'd be very fragile because the material itself is very, very weak. Now we can of course do this kind of work using stainless steel as well. The advantage of stainless steel is that it's incredible strength. If I throw this on the floor, it definitely will break. If I throw stainless steel on the floor, it definitely will not break. So whenever you have an application, let's say for outdoor ornaments or that kind of stuff, just keep that in mind. You have wind and stuff blowing. So if you have something low to the ground or very well supported, stone is a wonderful uh, purpose or wonderful material for that purpose. But if you have something that's being prone to falling or that kind of stuff, uh, I definitely look more into the steel a section than I would with the stone. Now the next thing we're going to cut is this owl. Again, it's a totally different design from the text. When it comes to text, basically any font works as long as it's a stencil and as long as we have room to add supports to the overall font. So it can be done in any size, any shape that you can think of. Uh, same sort of rules apply when it comes to shapes. You want to make sure you have some sections supported and the overall structure is really, really solid. Again, just looking at the profile, you can see how incredibly clean the results are. 
Now, if you're wondering what an alternative to using Slade and WaterJet would be, the closest one I could think of is actually Corian. And we have a muddling machine. We can even use the machine behind me here. And we can do this out of uh, Corian. Or we can also do the Corian in the WaterJet. So again, it just depends on the application and the specificity of the design. So very, very sharp things like this here are really tough to do with a round bit. But with a water jet, it's really easy. The disadvantage to a water jet, it's relatively slow compared to a mill. Now, it might seem odd to you that I do, you know, fonts that are just, you know, crazy styles. I do shapes. And then I do something relatively simple like this. Now, what this showcases is, is the repeatability and the accuracy. If you look at this closely, you can see everything is spaced perfectly. And that's very important. You know, our customers send us design files to cut stuff. And what they want to receive is exactly what they have in their design file, not roughly or approximate what that design file is. So in this case here, you have absolute repeatability on stone. So if we could do this, anything else is really, really easy for us. Now again, same rules apply. You want to have some, something very well supported. We could definitely go a lot thinner on this, but then you end up with something that's brittle and prone to damage, especially during shipping if that's what we're doing. So if we're looking for a custom cut anything, contact me at cncri.com. We'll cut it for you and ship it right to your door.